Hi everybody and welcome to this quick video tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to start using our blocks and pre-made layouts to build your own web pages. By the end of this video, you will have a solid grasp of all the features that this plugin provides, so let's dive in. The first thing we notice after activating the plugin is those two buttons that appear on the top here. The first one says page building mod and the second one says templates. On the block inserter, we have a new category of blocks named Blocky Page. Here you can find all kinds of blocks that you need. There is 21 of them for now and many others are coming very soon. Now to start building your web page, you can either start from scratch by inserting those blocks or use the pre-made templates. Let's try the templates first. Here you have a large set of pre-made sections from the left, you can filter them by category. We have content, pricing, testimonial, etc. etc. You can import any one of these sections instantly simply by clicking on the import button. Let's try this one. That's nice and quick. Let's hit publish and see how does it look like. Nice. Now, let's use the page building mode and see how it looks like. Basically, this mode looks like the native full width mode of the editor with a few extra features. We notice that we have more space here on the editor. We can toggle the sidebar easily with this button here. But the most important thing is that we can change the viewport within the editor and see how our design looks like on different devices. Here is on tablet, on landscape phones, and finally on portrait phones. Great! We always recommend using this mode when you are building complex layouts. To give you a quick overview of the customization options available for all of our blocks, let's make some changes to the section we have just imported. First, let's see how it got structured. The section is wrapped in a container block. Here we have the rich text block, and right beneath it we have the roll block. Inside each column of the row, we have an info box block. Notice that by clicking on any element, the customization options of it appear on the sidebar. I'm going to change the background of this section first, and to do that, I select the container. and go to the background option here. We have different options, classic, gradient, and video. I'm gonna use the gradient. I choose radial, and change the colors here. Nice. Now, I'm gonna change the typography. So I select the uh, rich text block and select the text. Here we have 900 plus Google Fonts. Let's change this to uh, Roboto and use a different color for it. Let's make the description a little bit smaller and change its font. Nice! Now, let's change those icons here and the text beneath them.
Now, let's see how it looks like on other de devices. It looks good on tablets and landscape phones. For the portrait phones, I'm going to reduce the spacing on the rich text. Nice! We came to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on the support forum. See you there!